A normal teenager finds out he has telepathic powers in the new show, The Tomorrow People. Two of the stars of the show, Robbie Amell and Peyton Lish, join me from Los Angeles. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Good morning. morning. Good, thank you. Well, I'm very excited because, honestly, this is one of my favorite new shows coming up. What are you most excited, Robbie, for viewers to see in this first season of The Tomorrow People? Wow. Um... All of it, um, you know, awesome. it's, it's one of those it's one of those rare things where um, the scripts come in and everybody who's a part of the show is so excited to read them. It's like a race to to who finished their script first, and you know, uh, you have to read it right away because people want to talk about it and they're giving spoilers out. So it's it's really nice to see that with you know a group of people who who don't have to be that you know that excited about the scripts to really be into it. Awesome. Now, Peyton, what would you say sets the Tomorrow People apart from other sci-fi shows? Uh, I think we have, we've created our, our own sort of world. I think in every sci-fi show you have, uh, you have what you accept as like the reality. Um, in our show, it, it feels very based in reality, as if these powers really could be some people could actually have them and um, and the circumstances that that have arisen because of people having them I think uh, I think it's very it's sort of believable if you, if you just yeah. make the commitment and it's uh, it's an incredibly interesting um, world with with uh, specific obstacles uh, that are challenging but fun yeah it is believable. I mean, the graphics look awesome, so thank you guys for putting out a good show like that. Now, in the show, we learn about the thank four you. T powers, telekinesis, telepathy, teleport teleportation, and time. But i got to ask you, which one would you give each other and why? Robbie, you can go first. <laughs> which one would we give each other? Yes. Oh. Ah, uh, well, I know what Peyton, I know the power that she would want, so I would give her tel uh, teleportation. Awesome. What about we've, you, Peyton? We've had a lot of discussions on set. Well, I guess if he's going to be nice, then <laughs> I should give him the one he wants, yeah. which is don't teleportation. Don't you dare give me telepathy. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want you to be able to read my mind. I don't want to be able to read people's minds. <laughs> no. I want to, you know, nobody thinks nice things about you all the time. Right. That that might not be a great power to have. Now, obviously, you guys Plus, have a chemistry. people are weird. Yeah, they you are. Wanna know. <laughs> Now, you guys have great chemistry right now, and in the show, we kind of see this love triangle begin to form. How is that going to develop the rest of the season? Um, well, like every good CW show, there's a great love triangle. So um, uh, it definitely develops very quickly. Uh, you find out in the first episode that there's a connection between Kara and I. But uh, you also find out that there might be something between Kara and John, and um, it, it definitely causes some conflict between John and I. Um, we're both competing for uh, her affection and, and her attention, and um, I can't tell you much more than that because right. I'll have my hand slapped. <laughs> awesome. I get it. Now, I have to ask um, Robbie that obviously on Wednesday nights, it's Amel days, and you're joining your cousin Stephen Amel over on <laughs> Arrow. In real life, even with your powers, who would win in a fight, you or Stephen Amel? With powers? Yeah, with powers, so you against Arrow in that sense. Well, only one of us can stop time. So. <laughs> yes. So the point goes to you. That's awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We had a great time. We look forward to the rest of the season. Again, thank you. You guys were awesome. Thank, thank you. you. You know, the Tomorrow People airs Wednesday nights at 9 on CW53 Columbus. Don't miss it.